Hey guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to continue to dig into character traits, um, but we're going to step up the level a little bit by using rap when we talk about characters. So this is still going to be our goal. We are going to be able to analyze and describe character traits, motivations, and change. Okay, we'll focus more on change um, as we get to the end of our novel. Um, and motivation, we will kind of start to talk about throughout the week, but really our big, big, big focus focus here is character traits, being able to analyze characters and describing them. Okay. So we know that characters have two types of traits, inside traits and outside traits. We know outside traits are how the character looks, things that we see. We know inside traits are how a character is thinking, acting, feeling, and speaking. Okay. And so those are things that we are, the inside traits are going to be the things that we focus on the most. We last week talked about um, this piece of paper here about different words that we can use to help us um, describe characters. And we know that we're going to do that by making inferences. And we know inferences are when I have clues in the text, my background knowledge, put it together to make an inference. Okay. And so that's what we're going to be working on um, this week, but using rap. We did a really good job last week as we were walking through and as I modeled for you using this graphic organizer. We talked about what the character says, what the character thinks, what the character does. These were our text clues right here, the clues in the text that we were writing down word for word. Once we had those clues in place, then we stepped back and we thought about our background knowledge and we asked ourselves, how would I feel in this situation? What do I know about a person who says these things or thinks these things or does these things? And we made inferences about their character traits. We gave them words to describe them. That's what we're going to continue to do this week. So here is my model from last week. Remember LaChina? She had a strange feeling in her stomach. Today was her first day of school. What if her teacher didn't like her? What if the other kids in class made fun of her? And so we tried to ask ourselves, how is she feeling? Now, in this box, we know that she didn't say anything, so I had nothing to write here. What she was thinking, she was thinking, what if my teacher doesn't like me? What if my class makes fun of me? And what she was doing, her actions, she had a strange feeling in her stomach. And we were able to take a step back and think and ask ourselves, okay, what do I know about a person who is asking themselves these questions and is having this strange feeling in their stomach on their first day of school? Well, we could make the inference that she's nervous. That's how I feel on my first day of school. I know that's how a lot of you feel on your first day of school. So we were able to put it together in this format here. What we're going to do now is we're going to take it a step further and we're going to talk about rap. Okay? Now, it's been a while since we've had a rap mini lesson, so we're going to quickly review. We know that the R stands for restate. I'm going to restate the question. I'm going to take words from the question and put them in my answer. A, that's the easy part. We're answering the question, okay? And then the P, that's when we prove. That's when I'm going to pull words straight from the passage and quote them word for word. Well, we kind of already answered this one, right? We did this one last week. And so when I'm restating, all I'm going to do, do this in purple, is I'm looking at these words. How is LaChina feeling? And I'm asking myself, how can I use these words right here? So I said LaChina is feeling. Look at, I use three of these question words right here. I, I pulled these words straight from the question. LaChina is feeling. And then I'm going to answer it. And that answer was the inference that we made, how she was feeling, okay? Nervous. LaChina is feeling nervous. All right, then it's time to prove. And that's where I'm pulling stuff word for word from the passage to prove that she is nervous. So this is what I said. Remember, we are always going to start the prove with this sentence stem right here in the text. Shh, in the text, it said, Oh my gosh, that's not spelled correctly. In the text, it said, comma, there we go, <laughs> better. Start with this sentence, Tim. In the text, it said, and then this is going to come word for word from the passage. So um, you could have cho chose any of those clues that we talked about. She woke up with a strange feeling in her stomach. Today was her first day of school. Now, notice that I didn't write this part. 
I don't want to rewrite the entire section. That's not clues. I want to take a little part of the section. And the part of the section that stood out the most to me was that very first part right there. The strange feeling and knowing it was her first day of school. That's what helped me figure out she was nervous the most. Because if I were to rewrite and I kept going and I wrote all of this and this and this and this and this, guys, that's not clues. That's not evidence. All I did was rewrite the whole thing. I just rewrote it. That's not what we're trying to do. We're picking the parts that help us make the inference. So that's what I've done here. Okay. All right, guys. This is going to be your model for this week. Okay. Remember, it's the same process. Okay. We are going to read sections from our novel. We're going to ask ourselves, what is this character saying? What is this character thinking? What is this character doing? Okay. Then we're going to ask ourselves, well, how does that character feel? And we're going to use that to help us answer in rap. And those questions that we ask ourselves about how they're thinking, what they're saying, what they're doing, those are our text clues. That's what we're putting right here in the proof. Okay. So same process as last week. We're just putting it into rap. All right, kiddos. This week, you're going to have a couple of we do's going through the different chapters in Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. You'll have exit tickets after the at the end. Um, so please reach out. Let me know if you have questions. If you need me to explain this in a different way or you're not understanding. Um, my biggest piece of advice to you would be to take a picture of this and keep it on your desktop. Have it there to look back at, to use, to help you as you are working this week. All right, kiddos. I cannot wait to see the awesome work you do.